far, dude. I'm not wearing a GoPro. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We broke welcome it. Welcome back to Na 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 Four. So the theme for the summer is Jesus speaking in John 14, 6, saying, I am the way and the truth and the life. And so the theme mosaic is us using different I am statements from Jesus to understand what Jesus means by saying this in John chapter 14. It gives a zoom in of the different qualities and characteristics of Jesus. A lot of times you just look at him as just a universal picture, but we get to zoom in on um, some really specific details about him and what makes just his character. And then the kids get to apply that in their own lives and get to see who Jesus is truly to them. It's like how it just all the small pieces of little like broken things all add up to make a beautiful picture. Like everybody is a little bit broken in some way, but if you trust in Him and follow Him, you'll be part of a big picture and have eternal life. Um, one of my favorite authors said that what comes into our mind when we think about God is the most important thing about us. And so we're going to live our entire lives based on our answer to the question, who is Jesus or who is God? And so for us getting to spend a week just looking at maybe one of the more important things Jesus ever said in John 14, that He is the way to the Father, that He's true, that He's a truth teller, that He's the life and He can give us abundant life and that He's the only way to the Father, is so important for students and campers to be able to walk away knowing that we can just understand this statement where Jesus is saying so much about Himself that'll say so much for us going forward in the future, living our lives, following Jesus, and knowing Him fully. So in Word, um, as a cabin, we get to just go through a time of Bible study, and we get to get a little bit deeper into this topic. We um, get to hear the speaker every night, but during Word, we get to really dive into really specific areas, such as absolute truth is a really big one. We talk a lot about 
what truth is and what that looks like and how it can be applied to us. I enjoy learning more about God and Jesus and just getting closer to them. I love the songs and I also love Mr. Child was great. It was great. I wrote so many notes and I like writing notes about chapel and everything. The learning. God's so, grace, yeah. friends and people you don't even know coming together, having a great time. The purpose of Creation Hikes is to just get your kids out of their comfort zone. The overnight is already a time where some of them may be a little uncomfortable, but Creation Hikes, they get to, to see a really physical way of learning. Uh, it's not just word of mouth, it's by physical things. That can look like writing letters to yourselves of forgiveness or um, writing biblical truths on your arms to remind yourself of a physical representation of what the Lord says about you. We also get to have them go through challenges and struggles just to learn and to grow and just see a really deeper meaning to some of these things we've been telling them all week. The biggest question that it comes into my mind when I get to do ministry with students is simply the question like, is, is God trustworthy? Like, is Jesus telling me the truth? Like Jesus says a lot of things, the Bible says so many things, and we live in a world today where like that's really difficult to understand. Do I wanna trust what the Bible says or do I wanna to listen to the world? And I'd say the biggest thing I want campers walking away knowing is that Jesus is a truth teller, that he's not a liar. He's not trying to lead us into a new way of living just to act better or be better people. Jesus wants to give us the fullest possible life and can transform us into people of love. And that's what he's trying to do in John 14, six, is tell people the best possible way to live. So if I'd say there's one thing I want campers walking away knowing, it's that Jesus is telling us the truth. He's not a liar, he's not a manipulator. He wants the best for us.